And in fact, I found out that um, Islam um, in the seventh century already spoke about natural selection. In Arabic, the name of Muhammad, uh, Muhammad's got many names, but one of the most important names is Mustafa. Mustafa in Arabic means he who was selected. And the idea is that since the time of Adam, the first human being, God selected from every generation the best of all the descendants of Adam. So there was a, some kind of natural selection, one generation after the other. Until at the end, he selected the best of the best of the best of the best. And this is the Prophet Muhammad. And he chose him to give him his word, the exact word of God, and of course selected him to be the prophet that will bring to humanity the finest of all revelations. This is Islam. Now, Islam is not a religion in the ordinary, simple way of thinking. Islam is a culture which comprises everything. And most of all, it is a culture based on revelation, and it is a culture which is based on a legal system. It is basically a legal system. It is a legal system which comprises everything. It comprises the life of the individual, it comprises the life of the society, it comprises the state. That's one thing. Secondly, it is a world religion. It's not like Judaism, which is not a world religion. It is connected with the chosen people, and it's only for them. And it's not connected with the territory of the world. It's connected with one small country. Islam is a world religion connected with the world, and it, is one, it wants to... to it wants to establish world order. For Islam, the whole world is one state. In Surah 61, verses 11, 13, we hear that God sent Muhammad with the true religion, with the right message, with the right path, which means that there is only one truth. هو الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ولو كره المشركون. Jews and Christians, which are called the people of the book, and they falsified their books. That's why Allah had to send another prophet, a modern prophet, that should bring the last word of God and the only word of God to humanity. This is the Quran. Nothing can be superior to it. And because of that, this religion is regarded to be one that stands on top of everything else. In Arabic, they say, Al-Islam ya'lu wa la yu'la alayhi. Islam is superior. Nothing can be superior to it. Which means we are talking about not only the final word of God, not only about the finest word of God, but the truest of all revelations. What does the community have to do? The community of the believers those people that were lucky enough to have their hearts open and to have accepted the call of the Prophet Muhammad, what do they have to do? They have a mission in this world to bring the word of God to the whole universe or if you want, to the whole of this planet.